So this patient came in asking for two things. One, number 31 implant to replace the second molar that got lost several months ago. And two, zirconia implant because she believes titanium implants are toxic. I see that there's kind of a rise of holistic dentists claiming the implants they place are superior to what most dentists use, which are titanium implants. This patient made several comments that I find interesting. I watch videos and I know root canals are bad. Secondly, titanium implants are toxic, so I only want a zirconia implant. Three, I can't chew because I'm missing my second molar. I told the patient, okay, we can place an implant there to replace that second molar. However, there are some things that need to be considered. One, sometimes the posing tooth may start moving downward. And we've seen this happen to the point where there wasn't enough space to put a crown several months after the implant surgery. We strongly advise wearing a night guard to prevent the migration of the upper teeth. Placing an implant in the lower second molar site can often be tricky because one, it's hard to reach that space, especially with an implant drill. Two, usually there's not a whole lot of bone height above the nerve. Three, it's hard to see well. Luckily, we have this equipment called an X-Guide that can help us with precise placement of the implant. But we do need to charge a little bit more for that. The patient didn't seem to like hearing that. But my counter to that is, do you just want an implant where the bone is? Or would you like an implant such that we can hopefully place a nice functional crown? Third thing, the conversation we had to have about zirconia versus titanium implants. Zirconia implants are being advertised heavily by implant manufacturers. The biggest pros of zirconia implants based on evidence we have so far, soft tissue response is supposedly slightly better with zirconia implants. But the degree to which they are superior is statistically insignificant. Now, let's talk about the drawbacks. It's a hard and brittle material. When it fractures, it's gonna be a nightmare for whoever has to deal with that. With implants, there are multiple components. There are a screw portion, and then there's this part called the abutment. If you're using a titanium screw, it's best to use a titanium abutment. If you're using a zirconia implant, it's best to use a zirconia abutment. Makes sense, right? Since different materials behave differently. But I just talked about the fracture potential of zirconia implants and abutments. Retrieving the fracture portion or getting things out becomes extremely challenging. For that reason, we don't offer any warranty for zirconia implants. It's like, proceed at your own peril. It hasn't been studied as long as titanium implants, so there's less scientific evidence to support it. We actually asked the patient this question. If titanium was indeed toxic, would orthopedic surgeons use it for their procedures? In my mouth, I'm getting titanium implants if I ever have to.